Let me introduce you to a very special place, one where research and education, history and heritage all come together. We're one of the oldest observatories in the world, still actively conducting research as well as having a vibrant planetarium. We run education programs in astronomy that range all the way from preschool to postgraduate level. So what happened when we had to close our doors due to the pandemic? We had to find a way to keep our programs alive, our staff active, and our audiences engaged. We had to reinvent ourselves overnight from a place where people come to see and hear us in our planetarium to one where we go out and meet our audiences virtually. In doing so, we have created entirely new experiences and enriched our offerings. Let us tell you how. We started with engaging with our audience through Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Our education team set out to create online content that would interest and enthuse everyone about astronomy and science. We created over 50 science experiments and crafts to help families during lockdown. They ranged from busy shooting rockets to creating your own cup anemometer, to constellation projectors, stars in a jar, and much, much more. Our journey through the solar system videos brought the planets alive for primary school children and helped parents with the difficult task of homeschooling. We produced interview sessions that were very popular among our older audience. In our Astronomer Q&A series, we got to find out more about our researchers and their work here at Arma Observatory and Planetarium. Our Five Minutes Wit series was a range of interviews with different inspiring astronomers, astrophysicists and even an astronaut. We had amazing conversations with the astronomer who slayed Pluto, Mike Brown, as well as the first British astronaut in space, Helen Sharman. Our ambition to keep our educational programs alive has not only engaged with previous visitors to the planetarium, it has helped us reach many more with our Facebook following growing by 10,000 in the past year. We are very proud of our Star Tracker stargazing sessions and when we realised that we couldn't host them to the public because of the pandemic, we quickly adapted them to go online. Through our online Star Tracker nights, we were able to keep our public engaged with the night sky. It also allowed us to branch out and introduce keen stargazers to SLU. SLU is an online platform that allows amateurs and professionals alike to control robotic telescopes and explore space like never before. The Star Tracker evenings were so popular that we decided to create another session, especially for families with children. We wanted to make homeschooling that little bit easier, and so our Star Tracker Kids Takeover event was born. Through these sessions, we continued to teach children all about space and answer their questions about the universe. Hopefully this gave parents a little break and time to sit back and enjoy learning with their kids. Going online with live sessions also provided us with the opportunity to try out events we may never have gotten if our facility had still been open. We held a world premiere of Secrets of the Universe with Professor Manuel Calderon de la Barca Sanchez, who is a professor of physics at UC Davis. Our most exciting event was our session with Irish comedian, television presenter and keen amateur astronomer Dara O'Brien. We reached out to Dara with the idea of hosting an event that highlighted the new general catalogue of nebulae and clusters of stars, which was created at the Arma Observatory in 1888. He loved the idea and once we had the event planned, we knew it was going to be something special. 400 tickets sold for the event and the positive feedback we received from our audience blew us away. Through creating these live events, our education team have developed their presenting skills and gained the knowledge and confidence to keep expanding our online content. Our education staff have worked very enthusiastically over the last year to make sure that we can still engage with our audiences through digital means. But during this time, we've also done some major upgrades to our building and to our offering to our visitors. Our staff have been upskilled and have been able to learn and master new skills that would not have been possible if we hadn't been forced to pause and rethink due to lockdown. 
A number of our Friends of Hoist and educational officers have spent several months learning sign language to find an additional way to communicate with our visitors and to be more inclusive. So five staff members hold a level one certificate in either British Sign Language or Irish Sign Language. We were limited by the existing 1960s building structure in providing a practical solution which was more appropriate for the needs for some of our disabled visitors. However, this has now been rectified and we now offer a registered changing places facility which has a hoist, a shower and adjustable bed to make a visit to the planetarium less limiting for those who need to use this space. We've also seen major upgrades in our exhibition area. As we were closed, we were able to strip out and build a better planetarium. My personal favourite space is our sensory room. So imagine the soothing gurgling of the bubble tubes, the twinkling of starlight and realistic immersive projections. It's definitely the ideal destination for some staff chill out time. And I think our families are really going to enjoy this area. Our gift shop, reception and cafe have also received an impressive overhaul and our 360 degree planetarium dome is now upgraded with the latest planetarium software, providing stunning and unparalleled detail of planets, moons and nebula, as well as the capability to easily create content without having to be a scripting expert. It is literally out of this world. We are fortunate enough to be situated on 14 acres of grounds and we've planted new trees to replace some that have been lost over the years. This is important to help us maintain the historic landscape of this site, reduce our carbon footprint and consider the ecological impact of our buildings. Now we're grateful for the financial support provided by the Department of Communities that has allowed us to complete many of these projects. As you have heard, we have been on quite a journey over the past year. But what we are most proud of is keeping our own staff engaged, inspired and enthused throughout the last year. Now we have achieved this by staying together and connected remotely between all areas of our organisation, from our education teams, to our researchers, to our corporate team and our IT teams. Now this has had huge benefits with collaboration throughout ARMA Observatory and Planetarium. From staff who may not normally have been engaged in our educational programmes, it gave them a chance to actually become involved in our astronomy sessions. Now some of the engagement methods that we have utilised have been weekly staff remote gatherings as well as individual team meetings. Now these have been extremely well attended and it's certainly an area that we'll be looking at in a post-COVID world at Arma Observatory and Planetarium. Now we've also had the opportunity to focus on getting better at promoting the work that we do and in particular shouting about the astronomical research that we do. Now recently we have had successful papers in comet research and in black hole research published which we got international coverage for. Now, throughout the last year, we have kept our aims and goals of keeping astronomy alive. But as an organisation, we've also got to know each other a little bit better. Now, whether a colleague was leaving the organisation or someone was having a big birthday, we all came together to make it special for them through the means of videos and little personalised videos to them. Now, this was certainly helped keep engagement going, but it also kind of helped our mental health as well. We're having a bit of fun um, whilst making little videos for our colleagues. Now, we are a small but mighty team here at Arma Observatory and Planetarium. And if you've not checked out our content, you can go to www.arma.space or you can connect with us on social media at Arma Planet and join in our astronomical conversations we want to keep these conversations going and make links with astronomical organisations, so please check us out. But for now, Arma Observatory and Planetarium invite you to stay curious. Stay curious. Hakim Minya is an Isasu. Live, you see you. Restay curious. Zurich, Fiora Hau. Stay curious.
Van Visrock. <laughs>